Hey there! I wanted to talk to you today about how the Law of Attraction will work in the new era. And using the word era instead of era is because of Jupiter and Saturn entering Aquarius here in December, initiating the next 20-year cycle in the air signs. In fact, the next 200-year cycle where Jupiter and Saturn will keep meeting up and couple together every 20 years like they're doing here in December in the air signs Aquarius Libra and Gemini and so if you haven't seen my video that's what I mean by era so how do we build abundance in challenging times like this I've been pondering this question given what's been going on in the world how do we stay focused on what we want using the universal laws that run the universe, namely the law of attraction. So I was considering what's been happening to all of us and, and I'm so appreciative that you message back here on YouTube and those of you that are on my email list and get my email messages and you message back to me on my blog. I love hearing from you because this helps me understand not only what's going on with myself but what's going on with all of us in these incredibly chaotic and challenging times. And how can we use the law of attraction to bring us what we want and stay out of the negativity stay out of the chaos, stay out of the fear. So we know that many people are struggling right now and fear can wash over you and leave you feeling paralyzed. And the mind wants to be safe. Or we could say the ego wants to be safe and the ego will do anything to keep us safe. That includes not taking any action, just standing right where we are or sitting where we are and not doing anything. However, that doesn't move us forward and that doesn't bring us what we want. So if you're feeling that fear wash over you and you feel like you can't take action, it really is time to do it anyway. In other words, you want to line up the energy first before you do take action. However, it's still important to take action even when you're scared, even when you're feeling uncertain about the future or where things are going. And what I mean by action is investing in yourself, learning new skills, learning something new, learning a new language, just to learn a new language. Networking, putting yourself out there, letting others know that you're looking for a job or you're interested in a partnership, you're interested in teaming up with others. Because when you do that, you're letting the universe know, namely the law of attraction, hey, I'm looking for this in my life, I want this in my life, and I may go over here and stir the pot, but what happens is the law of attraction will send you what you want. It can come in from another side. It can come in from a direction or a place or a person that you didn't even know was out there. So everything based on the law of attraction, the universe has unlimited abundance. And the universe wants you abundant. Why does the universe want you abundant? Because the more abundant you are, the healthier you'll be, you'll have more vitality and energy, and you'll be able to help other people. So it's a win-win for the universe to have all of us, everyone, abundant. What you want and what you manifest comes from the law of attraction, comes from universal intelligence, comes from creator. Now it comes through other people but it's coming from Creator. And that's good news, because that means your prosperity, your abundance, isn't limited to what's going on with people around you, or what's going on with the government, or what's going on in the world. That you can get on with it, no matter what is happening, if you stay focused on 
what it is you want to create and what it is you want to manifest. And that's why it's so important to not allow fear to control you and keep you from moving forward and putting yourself out there, taking a risk. Because if you don't take action, you're missing out on the opportunities that are right in front of you. And these may be the very next steps that you need to take to move forward. Because you can only dance in place for so long. <laughs> Dancing with myself. And you want to put the energy out there. Now, I get it. This has been the year from hell. I wouldn't wish this year on anyone. Now, that's not to say there aren't good things that have come out of 2020. For myself, I've learned to take better care of myself. And because of that, I have more vitality. I feel better. And that means I don't go to the doctors often. And when you don't go to the doctors and spend money, that's money in your pocket that you get to keep. Remember the saying? It's not how much you make, it's how much you save. So I think of abundance or prosperity, not just money or the things you own, but it's also having a strong mind, having a strong body, having vitality, feeling good when you get up and take on your day. So think about what is prosperity for you. And another good thing that I realized here in the States that came out of 2020 collectively for us is there were no school shootings this year. This is the first year in almost 20 years that the news has not been dominated by the horrific shootings in our public schools. And so that is a benefit that came out of uh, this year. And perhaps when we go back to normal that people will actually care more for each other and treat each other better and be kind. Maybe being kind could be the new normal and that's something we could spread. <laughs> Yay! So you don't want to wait for the government. You don't want to wait for a savior to come and save you. You don't want to wait for Prince Charming or Princess Charming. You want to be your own savior. You want to get out of your own way, and, and we all get in our own way, including myself, that's why I'm making this video, is think about how can you personally improve your situation right now. The times we're living in, we need to take it one day at a time, one moment at a time. Be very present. All power is in the now. How can you improve your situation right now, today? What can you do to improve your situation right now? And, you know, you want to remember that the law of attraction has been around forever. The law of attraction isn't anything new. And we've had many great teachers teaching this to us for hundreds of years. I follow the teachings of Wallace Waddles, who wrote The Science of Getting Rich in 1910. And... Those teachings I am applying right now today because they've worked in my life and I share them with everyone who comes in contact with me. Wallace teaches us to be advancing personalities, even if it's just being in the store and saying hello to the grocer or in the coffee shop, saying hello to your neighbors. Always being that advancing personality means that whoever comes in contact with me will come away with a good feeling, will come away feeling advanced in some tiny little way. So the law of attraction has been around forever. However, we've not been taught this in school. And that's really where we need to begin to teach it. Just like entrepreneurship should be taught right in kindergarten. First grade should be taught as well as the attraction principles. The law of attraction should be taught right in school because if people knew, I mean this is why The Secret became so big starting in 2005 when The Secret came out. It's like, oh The Secret, The Secret. Well, what's The Secret? The law of attraction. And we need to be teaching this to children so that they understand the universal laws and namely the law of attraction. 
Now, Pallas Athena has just entered Aquarius, so she's leading the pack, actually. Pallas Athena is the goddess of wisdom, truth, and strategy. She is the best leader that you could possibly have. Jupiter and Saturn. Now, Saturn's going to enter Aquarius on the 17th of December. Jupiter enters Aquarius on the 14th of December, and they all couple together and they march into Aquarius on solstice the 21st. Aquarius, like the air signs in our new era, rules the mind. So it's all about the power of the mind and using the power of your mind to manifest what you want today and in your future. So as we enter these air signs, we are boldly going where we've not gone before, which is the ability to control your mind. And this may be the biggest shift of your life. This is what I've been talking about in my videos here this fall. It's the biggest shift in your life is happening right now. And that's exciting because it gives you the power. It puts you in the driver's seat. And it's about taking your power back. So this era will be about using the strength of your mind to create what you want. To focus on purpose. For instance, ask yourself, what can I do right now to improve my situation? And when you keep the faith, most importantly, your situation will improve because you're taking purpose and you're combining it with faith and determination is deliberate creation. That's how you deliberately create whatever it is you want. So you use power and faith, stay determined, and you will succeed because the law of deliberate creation steps in to bring you what you want, to bring you what you're asking for. Now this isn't easy to do. It requires the power of your mind and it necessitates the work of your mental focus you'll have to acquire the ability to work in a certain way. And this is what I present and train all of my participants, whether they're in my courses or my programs. I preach doing things in a certain way. I call it the three C's of success. Doing things in a certain way consistently and with commitment you cannot fail. It is the law of the universe. And remember, the universe wants to bring you what you want because the more abundant you are, the more prosperous you are, the more your consciousness expands, the more you grow and evolve. And that is what brings goodness into the world. That's what lifts everyone up. It is the multiplication factor. So doing things in a certain way consistently and with commitment. Now doing things in a certain way is about doing things efficiently. So every day when you get up and you're efficient, you can't help but be successful. Because when you start combining efficiency and effectiveness every day, and it doesn't matter what you're doing, it could be making a sandwich, it could be making a podcast, making a video, talking to your lawyer, talking to your... CPA, talking to your financial advisor, talking to your best friend, talking to your partner. It doesn't matter what it is, what the task is. It matters that you're working efficiently. So when you bake that cake, you bake it efficiently. And when you do that, it makes you successful. And when every day is successful, you have the key to a successful life doing things in a certain way. So say you wanted to make videos or you wanted to start a podcast. Okay, so you learn how to do it. And believe me, there's so many times where I've thrown myself out there without knowing what I'm doing, but how to figure it out along the way. I don't recommend that for everybody because you really do have to have, you know, you have to have a certain amount of, I don't know, uh, ability to fail <laughs> and just keep picking yourself up and going. And so 
you know, it's been my method, but it's not everyone's method. But, it, but it, you know, the important thing is, is when you put yourself out there in a big way, it, it, the universe conspires to bring you what you want. And, and that's why debt is not a bad thing. If you're using your money to build a new business, build something that's going to further your prosperity, you're getting an education in something. Those are investments. Sometimes putting yourself in debt to build something new that's going to bring you prosperity is exactly what you need to do because it is what pushes you out there and say, okay, man, I've got to make this work because <laughs> I've just invested a lot of money in this, so i got to figure out how to make this work. And when you do that and you keep working efficiently and consistently and you don't give up, that's another key a lot of people give up right in the 11th hour, right when they're about to have a huge breakthrough. They oh, I'm going to give up. Oh, it's not working. Stay with it consistently. With commitment, you will be successful. And, and that goes for anything you're working to do. So to be successful and build abundance in this new era, the first step is to think what you want to think. So to think what you want to think is truth, regardless of appearances. Now this is the key. To think what you want to think, to think what you want to think about, is truth, regardless of appearances. The negative news, what's going on in the environment that's negative, what's ever around us, which is kind of bringing us down, lowering our vibration, lowering our energy, draining us, like, oh, that's so negative. Oh, when is this COVID ever going to be over? right? That's really negative. But to focus on what you want, regardless of appearances, which is actually truth, because the universe is abundant. The universe has unlimited abundance. The universe has unlimited well-being. It's continuously flowing to us. We are the ones that clip it off. And we do that through stress. We do that through fear. We do that through negativity. The truth is, the universe wants you abundant. The more abundant you are, the more healthy you are with well-being, feeling good, the more prosperous you're going to be. It's better for you, it's better for the family, it's better for the community, it's better for the world. It's a win-win. And this is truth. Now every individual has the natural inherent power to think what she or he wants to think. A word of caution though, it requires far more effort to think what you want to think than it does to think the thoughts which are suggested by appearances, like all of the crap we've been through this year. To think according to appearances is easy. Watching the news, oh, it's all bad, right? For example, 2020, oh, the whole world's going to hell in a handbasket. We can see this in the news. We can feel it. To think truth, regardless of appearance, is laborious. This is the dividing of the way. This is where most people don't understand, is they don't understand the law of attraction and how it works. That the most laborious work you will do in this new era is using the strength of your mind and controlling your mind to think truth regardless. Using the power of your mind to focus on what you want and not the appearances being shown to you is the key to manifesting what you want in the new era and in 2021, 2022, 2022 and future, <laughs> if I could talk. Okay, desire is a manifestation of power. Your desire for abundance means that you have within you the power within you to be abundant. Your desire for abundance must be greater than your resistance, how you get in your own way and we all do it. I get in my own way by not taking care of myself, letting myself get run down, getting too tired. When I get tired, I get cranky. And then I look at the world and I think, ah, world's going to hell, right? So when I take care of myself and I'm rested, the world looks much brighter. Desire minus resistance equals deliberate creation. This is law. So 
Desire is power seeking manifestation. The desire to build abundance means that you have the power within you to build abundance. The desire to play music means you have the power within you to play music. The desire to build a YouTube channel, to be a podcaster, to be a blogger, to be an e-tailer on Amazon, to start your own business, to get a new job, a better job in a better company means you have the power within you to make that happen because desire is a manifestation of power. Desire is power within you seeking its very own manifestation. In your resistance you get tired. You need to rest and so you go from resistance to rest. Resistance to rest. But what about rest to eagerness? Rest to passion? Rest to alignment? Rest to clarity? Rest to brilliance. You can go, you can get this energy moving within you, and when you're up to speed, that energy, you are clever. You are fun. You are full of vitality. Your timing is good. You are living life as you intended and as Spirit Creator has intended for you. Desire minus resistance equals deliberate creation. Keep your desires strong for what you want. Do what feeds your passion. Do what makes you feel stronger. Don't allow your mind to sink into fear. Refuse to go there or stay there if you find yourself going in. Do what empowers you. The truth is beating resistance means you have to get out of your own way. Use the strength of your mind to focus on what you want, not on what you don't. Keep the focus on what you want. That is the most laborious thing you will ever do in this life. It's easy to let the mind slip into appearances. It's the challenge in the new era to keep your mind strong and focused on what you want. So use the power of your mind to focus on what builds you up and then keep the faith that what you're focusing on you will manifest because it's universal law and law of attraction doesn't mean you walk around and just like have a positive attitude I mean that's great if you do but that's not what I'm talking about here there are many rich people that are very negative <laughs> so it's not about having a positive attitude it's about having the ability to focus on what you want and not allowing anything to get in your way of getting what you want and that includes yourself so it's not about oh I've got to be this positive person now and I'm only going to say positive mantras that's another thing yes it's important to important <laughs> to affirm in the positive what you want Thank you, universe, for more money than I could possibly spend. Thank you, universe, for the abundance that is mine. Thank you, universe, for the new opportunities that are now in my life. But that's not enough. We have to take action. By thought, you create what you want. By action, you receive it. If your actions are not set up for you to receive the very things you want, you could be the most positive person in the world, saying all your lovely positive mantras however your action is not ready for you to receive what you want because you're not putting yourself out there you're not investing in yourself you're not taking risks you're not focused on what it is you want and remember too is that money is not the answer to it all I'm talking about prosperity principles here I'm talking about abundance because there are so many wealthy people that we know, you know, have committed suicide. So it's not simply, oh, well, I'm going to have money, and then once I have money, you know, I'll be really happy. Not necessarily. In fact, Jim Carrey, who's very wealthy, said that he wishes everyone to experience wealth and fame so that they could know that it's not the answer. It's not all there is. I'm not saying it's not great to want those things. I'm talking about abundance. Abundance includes money, 
owning things. But it's more than that. It's about strengthening the mind, body, and spirit. Now, I do want to do a live event in January on a sacred Saturday, January 23rd. I've chosen that date, and I'll talk more about it when I come back in my next video, about doing uh, a program around using upgrading your prosperity principles in the new era so that we are focused on what we want, bringing in what we want, using the science of building abundance, because it is scientific. When you do things in a certain way, consistently and with commitment, you will build abundance. It's law. And when we focus on that, we can create what it is we want in this new era. And that's what it's all about. So stay positive. Thank you for liking and sharing my videos. You are so rocking awesome! And thank you for subscribing. You totally rock! And may the good in this world find its way towards you.